Shalom, Rakate Yahweh, Rakate Yahushai, double honors unto the apostles of GMS or Ruo, and salutations unto the elect. Alright, um, this is going to be a video uh, dealing with uh, iniquity and transgression. Um, basically, uh, a, like a response to what a brother came to me with yesterday. Uh, you know, questions about iniquity and, and and basically, you know, confessing and whatnot. Um, you know, which is a good spirit because you have to you have to acknowledge your sins and you have to, um, you know, you, you have you have to acknowledge them and and and, and confess that you went off. You know, if you just um, if these things don't bear heavy onto you, then you know you're just going through the motions and taking it lightly but at the same time you can't let uh, your sins uh, burden you and weigh you down to the point where you stop doing the work because you know like I, like I told the brother unless it's like a sin unto death we knowingly willingly commit adultery or kill them you know <laughs> murder a brother or whatever or um, you know something like that or, or selling drugs or you know s something like that but we all slip our own ways and and, 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 and and it's a continual slipping, you know It's very hard in the flesh And how Esau is fucking us up You know, mentally and spiritually With frequencies and vibrations And just fucking you up, man You know, cause he's He's the, uh You know The epitome of, of, of the devil, man Right, this is uh, I'm gonna get 2nd Ezra 16 and um, 61 start off there um, it says he made man and put his heart in the midst of the body and gave him breath life and understanding man you understand so when you deal with that right is the law statutes and commandments of the most high that's that's that that's the part we're just dealing with um, the breath and the life and obviously the understanding it says, verse 62, Yea, and the Spirit of Almighty Power, which made all things and searcheth out all hidden things uh, in the secrets of the earth, surely he knoweth your inventions and what you think in your hearts or your minds, even them that sin and would hide their sin. That's the point. You don't hide your sin uh, uh, you know, from yourself. You don't just, oh, just tuck it away under the carpet. No, you, you confess it. And you pray to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh you put it all on the table, man. Um, and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. It's like it, my bad. Uh, therefore, the Lord exactly search out all your work and he will put you all to shame. Right? And when your sins are brought forth, you shall be ashamed for men and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day, man. You know, for, 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 for guys that fell off and, and all that because at the end of the day, they're elect. The precious men, you know, the one who's Yahweh, the ones who Yahweh Shemayasha has shown favor unto, because he can't show favor unto men. He will actually blot out their iniquity, and they won't be ashamed. You know, with all the slipping and all the iniquities that those men have done, they will literally be in white raiment, you know, representing uh, uh, a righteousness. Um, and that's a very beautiful thing. Hey man, to be ashamed is a damn—it's it's, it's embarrassing, man. You know, but uh, we gotta be—we gotta put our—we gotta put up ourselves onto humility and, and humiliation and shame in this kingdom. Going on the highways and byways, putting our faces up—that's what we gotta be ashamed, you know. And this is in this kingdom. It says, um, verse sixty-six. It says, "What will you do?" Right. Or how will you hide your sins before the Most High and His angels, man? Because they, they, they can't, you can't do none of that, man. The, the, those are spiritual entities. Yo, the Most High Himself is the Judge. Fear Him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities. You see, so so don't have a rearview mirror. You know, don't look in your rearview mirror, as they say. You know, just 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 press toward the mark. You you know you sinned. You 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 you, you repent, man. You atone. You know, that's why. I, I love the Day of Atonement. That's a beautiful holiday, high holy day, man. Uh, you just look at yourself. You know, you, you 
introspectively and you just look, you know, inside, man. You just beg Yahweh Hashem to blot out your iniquity. To meddle no more with them forever. So shall the Mosai lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. You see that? Because it tells you in Job, he shall save you from the scourge of the tongue, man. You know? It says, um, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be had derision and reproach and trodden underfoot. Right? And, and this is going into the martial law and, 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 and things that are coming to the society. So that's why we have to leave off from our iniquities, man. You know? Um, I'm trying to find another. Right, this is uh, second verse 16. Oh, it's like, yeah, it's a little up. So I'm going to read up. Read up. Read, read where I was reading anyway. There shall be in every place, verse 70, and in the next city is a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Uh, and they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but, shall, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. You know? They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods, 